Hey coders, I'm Matt Landers, and in this lecture, we're gonna talk about SQL injections and how to avoid them. So in a previous lecture, I had shown you how to use MySQL in your Node and React project. Uh, we started with the starter template that you can find on our GitHub at Covalence. And uh, I wanna show you, uh, expand on that a little more and show you how a SQL injection might be able to happen. So since we're using MySQL, they did put something in it to prevent uh, some SQL injection. So I'm going to actually bypass that so that I can show you how these work. So what we're going to do is go to our um, config file and add this multiple statements true to our config for our, um, our connection. And that's going to allow us to demonstrate how a SQL injection could happen. And this is something you may turn on uh, if it's a requirement for whatever you're trying to do. Um, in your app, whatever data you're trying to bring back, you might want to execute multiple statements and you want to be able to do it safely. Um, this was recently added, so it prevents some easy SQL injection attacks uh, for people who don't really understand it. But we're going to walk through it so that you really understand what it is, how to avoid it, because if you're not using MySQL or something else, it could also happen there. All right, so let's go to our DB and add the ability to uh, pull that one blog post. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy our all blog posts. We're going to rename this one to one and we're going to pass in an ID uh, of the blog that we want to pull back. And what you might be tempted to do here is just say where, you know, and then use a template literal. Um, and we could say where ID equals the ID that's passed in. And we got to change these two ticks. And there we go, misspelled where there. All right, so this will work. Uh, we need to export it here, so export one. And then we'll go to our route and add a route for it. So let's copy this route, uh, and we're gonna change it to slash uh, ID as a parameter that can be passed in. And then we'll change this to one and pass in request.params.id. And that should set us up for our API. So let's see, did that compile? It did, let's go to our browser and make sure that's working. So if we go to localhost 3000 slash API slash blogs, we'll get all the blogs and we can see that there's an ID of one here. So if we do slash one, we'll just pull back that particular blog post. All is fine right now, not an issue. But let's say somebody's trying to hack you and they realize that, hey, you might not have been too smart about how you did this. They could put a semicolon here and type a whole new command, select star from users, for instance, say okay, and then that still didn't work. Um, oh, I didn't put from. So select star from users, and there we go, look what just happened here. We just pulled back all of our users, including the blog. So it pulled back two different row sets. And then this one has, you know, first name Luke, last name Matt. It has our hash word pa or password hash, uh, all kind of bad stuff that we wouldn't want a hacker to get a hold of. So this is a pretty big issue. We don't want this to be able to happen. So how can we avoid this, even with multiple statements turned on? And the way that we can do it is that instead of how we uh, did our DB call here, instead of doing this, where we're just replacing something or string replacement, um, we can add in a question mark here and then pass in the parameters that we want to be in here. So we can put ID here. Now this should now protect our blog. So let's run this. And we see even though we put that in, it's not pulling back the users anymore. Because what it does is it just takes whatever value is passed in here and replaces it here. Uh, and it does it in a way that it doesn't let you create a whole nother statement. So it just filters that out and ignores it. I'm kind of surprised that it actually still worked, but uh, it's not bringing back the users anymore, which is what we wanted. So just make sure that whenever you are passing in variables that you're doing it this way. Uh, basically for every question mark, they just have to be in the order. So you can have multiple parameters in here if you wanted. Uh, but that's an easy way to avoid a SQL injection. So uh, go ahead and make sure you're implementing anything where you have parameters for your SQL statement like this so that you don't get hacked. Hacking is bad. You don't want to be hacked.
not good. <laughs> All right. All right, go out there and uh, continue to code along in this example, and I'll see you in a future lecture. Happy coding.